and most inhospitable deserts on Earth. But still, life exists. In an unforgiving land, one remarkable animal relies on teamwork to survive. Meerkats stand just 30 centimeters tall, but they do so shoulder to shoulder. Living under the constant threat of predators, and the duress of the dry season, this little family will be tested to their limits. Will they have what it takes to survive life in the Nile? Meet the meerkats. This wily gang is a tight-knit family of five. Head of this mini-mob is a four-year-old female named Makey. She's been the clan's leader for a little under a year. Being the boss has many advantages. Chief amongst them are breeding rights. Every dominant female has a dominant male by her side. Makey's mate is called Bruce. He's three years her senior and fiercely protective of his leading lady. In meerkat society, cooperation is key to survival. Makey and Bruce are assisted by three subordinate adults. Bill and Ted are brothers from the pair's first litter. Clarice is Makey's sister. In other regions of Africa, groups can have as many as 50 members. But this tiny family live in an area where deadly predators keep numbers down. Last year saw the group's heaviest losses. Nearly half the clan were claimed by the desert and its army of animal assassins. For a mammal that relies on safety in numbers, the loss has left the family dangerously low on members. Groups this small risk extinction. Makey and her clan must increase their numbers if they're to survive the difficult year ahead. Namibia is a land of extremes. A place of untold beauty and unimaginable hardships. The country lies on the southwestern edge of the African continent. Stretching for 1,600 kilometers along the coastline is the Nami. Here, one of the driest deserts in the world meets the great Atlantic Ocean. In the Nami, where temperatures exceed 40 degrees Celsius, and rainfall can be as little as 20 millimeters per year, the sea mists that drift inland are the desert's lifeblood. To survive the arid conditions, both plants and animals have had to evolve unique adaptations. Desert elephants are extraordinary in their endurance. Though smaller in body size than their savanna cousins, they have proportionately longer legs and bigger feet. This enables them to walk up to 70 kilometers to find water. Hemsbok too are uniquely adapted. They can survive for up to a year without drinking. Under the constant duress of desert life, many groups rely on the experience of leaders to see them through. The fortunes of many depend upon the decisions of a few. It's late summer, and for now, the residents of the Namib can enjoy living in relative comfort. 
but soon the desert will be transformed into a very different place. What little rain the Namib sees falls in the summer months. Now, as the winter approaches, the inhabitants will be pushed to their limits. As the desert grows drier, food will become increasingly scarce. Maki and her little gang are up early. But before they can head off for breakfast, they must first warm up. Meerkats are the unapologetic sun worshippers of the Namib. Their morning ritual revolves around resetting their internal thermostat after the cold desert night. Meerkats can lose up to 5% of their body weight overnight, just staying warm. For an animal that weighs less than a kilo, every gram counts. Sunbathing is the quickest way to heat up without using any more energy. Shorter fur and dark skin on their bellies act like a solar panel to absorb the sun's rays. But balancing on two feet for long periods can take its toll on tiny legs. Fortunately, meerkats have a way of lightening the load. Their long tail works as a tripod, taking weight off tired toes. Once the group have warmed up, dominant female Maggie issues the marching orders. Her lead calls instruct the group it's time to set off in search of breakfast. The family will spend the day foraging in a patch of their three square kilometer territory. But not everyone is joining the hunting party today. While the rest of the clan scour the desert for meerkat delicacies, Mickey's sister Clarice is staying home to guard the fort. Tensions between these competing siblings have been running high for some time. Last year, the group was left in turmoil when their mother died. With the position of top cat vacant, a vicious battle ensued. For weeks, the sisters fought for the coveted crown, until finally, Maki emerged the victor. But unresolved tensions are not the reason Clarice has remained at home today. The real reason rests two meters beneath her feet. Hidden below ground in the group's sleeping burrow are Maki's latest litter of pups. Meerkat burrows are made up of complex underground tunnels 